The last time on Pete and his bus. The time has actually come for me to start the prep on the bodywork. You've got to remember that I am by no means a professional bodyworks person, but I'm going to show you how I feel I can personally get the best result in prepping and painting this bus. there feel you know better feel free to tell me and we've also got to remember that no matter what I do the internet will probably correct me The body panels on our bus are actually not too bad. Often with these buses, it's actually easier to replace the panel than mess about with filler. But in certain places, it will have to be used. But the most important thing to remember when you're doing a project like this yourself is that what kind of finish are you actually realistically going to attain? Now, my bus is going to be used in the events industry, and the events industry is a messy place. So bearing that in mind, I'd like to get a really good finish, but I'm not trying to win a concourse show here. Also, our bus is from 1967, and I think it should actually look like it's from 1967. The equipment I'm going to be using to sand the bus is an orbital air-powered sander. This will mainly be used for the flat surfaces, like this. But to get into the corners and around those thousands of rivets, I'll be using this little mouse sander. Now sandpaper wise, I'll be using anything from 40 to 240 grit. And actually, as I started, I was making really good progress until this happened. My sander has decided to fall apart. So I've resorted to using actual sandpaper. Now the problem with this is, it's extremely boring. And the worst thing about it is, I forgot my headphones. So I can't even listen to music. Music, 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 music.
was that? Whilst I wait for my new sander to arrive, some of you might remember that I bought a bus advertising frame that was incomplete, but the vendor promised me to send me the bits that were missing. And he came good. The bits arrived and I was able to make the two complete frames. Now what I've done here is I've modified the bottom frame to make it the same as the frame on the other side of the bus. This saves me a lot of hassle in printing and making boards for it. And I also find that the single line frame looks better on the side of our bus. A simple modification that's going to save me a lot of time and hassle. The bus has been sanded. I actually think it looks rather beautiful. I did discover quite a few things. In certain places, there was over 12 layers of paint. The ultimate mission was the roof. 
That hadn't been done for some time. And also where graffiti had been put on it in the past, it made for extra hardcore sanding. Some bits aren't right though. The bottom at the back is very wonky. And God knows what's going on with the driver's door. And a few small details aren't quite finished. But the bulk of the work is done. As per usual, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Um, I hope you liked this video because it took a lot to put it together. Now the other thanks goes out to all my clients for my first bus in 2019. We've had our best year on record and I've got to remember that without these clients, Pete and his bus to show wouldn't exist. So thank you very much. Now, if you the viewer wants more information on my first bus, please check out www.barml2355.com and of course, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check us out on Facebook. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.